Are we live? Are we live? Yes, indeed. Welcome, welcome. This is a sushi belt. And a surprisingly uniform sushi belt that is fairly full, but has gaps everywhere. Um, so how did I pull off this, uh, this witchcraft? By what incantation of overly complicated circuitry have we ended up with this, uh, very, very uniform sushi belt after all of the products have finished filling into these chests? Hey, I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The answer is no circuitry at all, unless you count some uh, some wire. This is actually a zero combinator sushi belt. Um, all we're doing is reading the total contents of all of these chests. And for each of these products, we say it has to be less than, in this case, 7,000. Obviously, you're going to have to tweak it for a different size and shape of a uh, sushi belt. But just sort of guess and check. I threw out 7,000 for each resource. And this is what we've ended up with after the whole thing filled out. I don't really know how, to be honest, because I left this thing running and I came back to this. So we prioritize the input for the stuff that's already on the belt to keep going around, um, which you should be doing with a sushi belt anyway. Uh, all of these other ones have priority input for what's closest to the exit. And yeah, that's basically it. So I think I'll be experimenting a little bit more with combinatorless sushi belts in future. Um, of course, you do need some kind of storage uh, if you're not counting what's actually on the belt itself, you need somewhere else, some other signal that tells you about how much you've got of each resource on the belt. Um, another way to do it is to do something like, uh, say you're merging something on here. You might say... Read belt contents hold, and iron plate has to be less than 10 or something. Um, I've tried that before, it doesn't really work that well, uh, in my opinion, depending on what you want to do with it, obviously. But, oh yeah, and these little bits of circuit wire are just because we've got a multi-resource input here. It all goes on one belt. We're going to have to control LTN to make sure we don't send too much of any given resource. We can easily fit more than a train load of each resource here. And these bits of belt are just making sure that ice doesn't go past here. Hey, Samza. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually done the uh, crafting combinator stuff yet to program things, uh, these things to change their recipe. But that's going to be pretty straightforward um, in this instance. We're just going to have... I think we're going to need to have a couple of dishes. And we'll have... Um, 
instead of receiving what's on the sushi belt in orbit, we'll just receive uh, what is inside the... Where do I find it? It's under logistics, that makes sense. Uh, what's... how much uh, inventory is in the two cannons? Or cannon... delivery cannon chests, rather. A Veltek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we're going to need one more... Well, no, we don't necessarily need another signal receiver. We could split it into a couple of um, signals. We were already going to do this. Um, each times one. Output each uh, output C for cannon or something. We could do the same thing here and change it to some other letter. And then on one signal, we could know if both of these are empty or if each of them are empty. I forgot to do yay, no worries. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, I am surprisingly pleased with this uh, design. I was just sort of messing around doing some experiments. Um, so all that we've got going on with the circuits at each of the chests is uh, a infinite blacklist. Um, so it doesn't matter that we've only got one slot for filters. We look at what's in the chest. Anything that's greater than 100, we pass through as negative 10,000. Um, pass that to our uh, stack filter inserter. Set filters whitelist, and it reads what's on the belt in front of it as well. So I guess negative 10k is a bit excessive. We could literally just do eight and that would work. And the constant combinator is to make an adjustment for things that we don't want a hundred of. We could do the same thing for coal because the stack size is only 50. Everything else is a hundred, but we're also making sure we're only loading up a little bit of delivery cannon capsules. So this pretends we've already got 99. Um, if I double, if, if I double the amount we're allowed to have for each resource, we should see this thing doing its thing again. It would also be a good opportunity to adjust how much coal we're allowed to have. Um, so we could change this to 200. Coal would be... Uh, I think negative 100. No, what, coal would be 100. We're pretending we've already got 100 coal. And then 200 is the maximum. And then... Oops. Blueprint. Like so. Snap to grid relative. Run it down each one of these. And that should patch all of our combinators. So now we'll see resource. Oh, right. I need to double these numbers. Uh, so 14,000, I guess. Actually, I don't know if it's going to be like 14k or 15k. Because we've got 80 chests uh, times 100, that is uh, 8,000, obviously. 
Um, how did I end up with 7,000? Oh, right. Yeah, no, that's right. So if we're doing 80 times 200, it's 16k. The fact that we're doubling this doesn't mean that the gap is going to change by twice as much. So this should probably be like 15k. And a few more. Maybe this will be easier. Okay, 15, 15, and 15. So it's going to take a little while for this to fill up, but we might get to see exactly how it made that pattern before. We're seeing a pretty regular pattern of uh, missing stone brick and iron plate over here. I wonder how... Oh, I know what's happening here. I don't necessarily know what's happening here. Stone is coming in this way, iron plate is coming in this way, and then they're swapping, even though there's no prioritization here. That's just the way the splitter is doing things because of the order that they're arriving in. Hey, Terex. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What am I building this time? Um, I'm building a, a rail-based cannon launching to orbit system that can do quite a lot of throughput and it takes uh, 10 different resources as an input. Um, and I'm also just sort of playing around and experimenting with a different way of doing sushi belts. I'm trying to make a decent combinatorless version of it, which judging by what this belt looked at at this it looked like at the start of the stream um it's probably what's happened stone brick is 100 oh it's all on the wrong side and this one's got extra stone brick and only 100 iron plate well that's interesting um, they should get mixed up here. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. They just have to do an extra lap. I guess we can't really say this is 90 items per second in that case. I've been doing some math. I'll need to recycle nine full belts of scrap for my 960 SPM base. Wow. Just because you have to get rid of the scrap, or is there, like, something you need from it as well? Okay. So... I wonder if there's a way I could get the splitters to... try and put equal amounts of each item on different sides of the belt before it gets to here. If I merged this and then split it, not like that, um, we would need like this belt and this belt to merge. And this belt and this belt to merge. That's going to be ugly, to say the least. Why am I not cheating? There we go. Is that really as tight as we can do that? If the number 15k is the same for all, why not a constant combinator 
with the signal of 15k, so you don't have to change it 10 times. Uh, yeah, I could do that as long as I'm just playing with this, although obviously it won't be necessary for the final product. Just a byproduct of many space sciences, and it has to be dealt with. Scrap turns into iron ore, copper ore, stone, and heavy oil. Okie dokie. I don't really want to bother with something like this unless I can make it uh, pretty neat. I suppose I could just... I could just do a lane balancer up here. That would do it, actually, I think. So this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. And then prioritize the side that that does the belt balance. We should get a mixture by default. Wait, how is this happening? Oh, is it because... That's interesting. You get a lot of weird patterns with this, um, with this build. Like that. Alright, cool. Editor mode for shame? What's shameful about it? Okay. So we're actually moved on to copper already. Oh, I forgot. This is going to take... No, I didn't forget. It's going to take the same amount of time as it took to fill up 7k, pretty much. But yeah, you can see already we are still getting pretty much an even distribution of the remaining resources, which is pretty cool. So rather than running the entire simulation, which is going to take a while, I think think this will be enough for now. Let's start building it in our game. I spent tens of hours inside of creative mode. Yeah, you kind of have to for big builds. Otherwise you're just... I mean, can you imagine simulating something like this in a quote-unquote real game and then having to get rid of all this when I decide, no, 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 we have to try this again? I guess you could save scum it, but then why not just uh, why not just use the editor? Okay, this is a pretty good basis to get started on, I think. Um, I'll just put it here for now. And hope I don't lose my voice. We'll do a long save and jump back into SpaceX. Planning is half the success? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to bother putting in the crafting combinators until the last moment uh, for two reasons. One, it's pretty easy. Uh, two, well, three reasons, actually. Uh, two, I can, like, double-check that I'm getting everything right once and for all when I place it all. And f lastly, in the case of the um, cannons, I actually need to... I actually need to configure them all before lining them up to be recipe-controlled automatically. And I've run out of energy. Okay. Back to our nice slow bots. I don't think anything here is going to be wrong. If I place this blueprint down already. Although I don't know why it wouldn't let me place over these things. Considering they were already marked for deconstruction. Uh, 
To recycle those nine belts of scrap, I'll need 42 recycling facilities, speed modules and beacon. I only took 20 with me. <laughs> Bad planning. Rip. Why don't I just do the deconstruction first so I can see what I'm doing? And we don't get any ghosts missing. Oh, we've got a train on the way. Also, I don't think we're going to need um, a trash train stop. In this case. Uh, not half because we're not going to be using any bots either, but also we're not producing... Um, why are you putting it... What? Uh-oh. Um, I may have miscalculated slightly when I made some adjustments to this build. Oh well, it's not that big a deal. Oh no, wait, it'll be fine. As soon as the requester chests appear, they'll bring them back. Except then this train is going to be coming over here. Yes, indeed. Alright, meanwhile, this train is... No path. Is that true? It is because we haven't put a signal somewhere. Probably this one. Here it comes. And could probably get rid of the flashing signals over here. Um, is that legal? Yeah, that's legal. Alright, cool. And here comes our LDS. Um, I also need to build the actual... This is not going to do. Uh, one thing I've figured out thinking about this is... We're going to need some storage... If we're going to have this uh, high throughput build that could shoot 80 stacks of iron plate up at the same time, if we so desire. Um, well, for one thing, it's going to be easier if we control it to only do that when we've got room for 80 stacks. Otherwise, we'll need like a decider combinator for every single cannon. But for another thing... Um, well, that's mostly it, because if we're outputting directly onto the sushi belt, there's, you know, we can really only send a little bit of each resource at a time, and then it gets a lot more complicated controlling the recipes for the different cannons. Assuming we're going to set them dynamically, which we are, because it's cool. Why can't I... There we go. Alright, so this is going to be a few bot jobs. I should probably give them a hand. And promptly run out of energy again. Um, I haven't configured this train station yet, so we're not going to get random resources before we're ready. And we need to... Well, before I configure the cannons, I need to figure out where we're going to build these uh, delivery cannon chests. So I think what we're going to need up here is a couple of delivery cannon chests and uh, a whole lot of storage. Um, we'll have to output from the cannon chest filter based on the resource put 
put these things into chests, and then read from both the delivery cannon chest and the storage chests to decide when we're firing up another load of cannons. A El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I think I need to go back to orbit because I don't think I'm going to be able to build this remotely. Um, we probably have some steel chests that we can get the construction bots to pick up. So maybe we can actually. Uh, oh yeah, I completely forgot. Normally I would have put RoboPorts where I've placed all of these solar panels. Uh, whoops. It's probably fine. But yeah, I can get the construction bots to pick up steel chests. Um, same goes for inserters by deconstructing. I guess I just have to decide where I'm going to put it, which is probably here somewhere. So I think we'll have the same storage um, up there as we've got here for... Oh, these are supposed to be steel chests. Yeah, I forgot... Um... Where did, where did my blueprint go? That was supposed to be here. Um, can I do a... It doesn't include the infinity chests, so I can't upgrade plan them to correct them. So we'll just have to put these here again. Does that include over here as well? Yes, it does. Okay. Let's add some circuit wire. Copy that much, put those over here. And then don't forget to, uh, if I can move again, I need some more chests. All right, let's finish placing whatever we can down this way. Steel is a nice surplus resource in space because all fluids come in barrels, which you can recycle. Um, I was doing that, but we ended up with too much steel and we actually couldn't get more fluid because there was no room. Well, for the barrels, that is. Um, uh, what I've been doing since is sending up ice and coal and using coal liquefaction. Um, that doesn't go there. It must have been from when I placed the blueprint again. Yeah, so can you leave this way? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Anything else we can place before we get supplies? Doesn't look like it. Let's go back. I don't really want to take off the portable RTGs at the moment, so... We'll go a little bit slow. I have 8.8k empty barrels in space, waiting its turn to become more space science, but I feel I will have to recycle some. Yeah, the numbers do get big. What's this? Oh, this is just a recycler that I was just experimenting with. Um... Okay. Bots go burr. I'll probably need more belt than I usually carry. 300 is still not going to be enough. Um, can I perhaps copy exactly this into space? Not quite, because it doesn't use space belt, and I, unfortunately I can't just run an upgrade planner over it to turn it into space belt. Unless 
I don't know if it's going to let me, um, I don't know if it's going to let me make an upgrade planner for something I can't make yet. I, aha, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, big brain tap. Well, I, I thought I would be able to upgrade Express Transport Belt into uh, the Deep Space Belt, which you can place on the ground, but it doesn't let me do that. So I can't go from Express Transport Belt to Deep Space Belt to Space Belt, unfortunately. So I'll basically have to recreate this whole thing up here, which won't be too difficult, obviously. I think I will place what I can here to figure out where it's going to go. Um, probably somewhere like this. Can we maybe move this over a bit? If that goes there... Okay. I can move it around a bit when I get up there. You can place space belt on Nalvis, that's true. Let's grab some. Or maybe I should just go up there. I, I should get some space belt um, before I go up there anyway. But first, I don't want to forget to grab some extra belt. Head back over this way. I think I forgot the extra cannons. I forgot the extra cannons. I don't have ice. Rip. Is it, uh, is there much variation in, like, the, the space map? Or is there usually a little planet next to you where you can definitely get, uh, cryonite? I guess if it's not just next to you, it's just a matter of spending more fuel to get there, right? Pro probably. Whoa, I didn't realize I was that fast. Oh, I should probably change this to 199. Uh, that means I have to patch every single one of these. Uh, one other reason that I'm putting the crafting combinators in place last is that they don't necessarily play nice with copy and paste. Alright, so blueprint, snap to grid relative, Hold shift. And that actually lines up beautifully. Alright, that's patched all of our combinators. The planets slash moons seem random, but there seems to be a system to make sure you get access to all the resources. Yeah. So kind of like normal um, map generation, right? It follows certain rules. Okay. Um, I haven't actually done this part yet, so just in case the train comes and brings all of those resources before we're ready, I'll leave it like that. And then... Uh, we need this stuff connected. And over here as well, I think. We can ignore the bit of belt in between, and that's probably fine.
but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna set it up so we don't ask for a train until we're nearly empty on whichever resource. We can fit a bit more than one train load in four chests. That looks okay. And these ones connect here. Okay, and then that's going to go to LTN. Uh, what else? We need a whole lot of cannons, and I think that's actually it. So how many... I don't know how many cannons I actually dropped. The total is 80. Um, let's go get, like, 60 more. And here they are. Oh, I'm only making 20 at a time. Uh, that might take a moment. Let's set this to 60, no, to 80. Uh, speed it up a little bit, I guess. We're actually bottlenecked on heat shielding anyway. There should be a lot of heat shielding right about. There's almost no heat shielding here. What's going on? We've got no sulfur. Why is there no sulfur? Um, because there's no sulfur? So this is stopped because I think I limited it because there's not that much petroleum at the moment. Bonk. Uh, so we need more than 10k petroleum in this tank right here. Uh, we're not... There's no coal at the moment. So we're not doing coal liquefaction down here. That might be an issue. Um, same for this one. For the regular fluids, we've run out of crude oil. Um, that's a little bit alarming. What are you doing? I'm trying to... What? You're trying to pick up water. Okay, I see how it is. I must have set up the station wrong. Negative 180k. Uh, e no. So we've got 200,000 water here. Okay, yeah, I see the problem. Request stack threshold is 160k. The default uh, provider threshold is only 1,000. And because there's, like, between this negative signal and the extra water here, um, there's, like, uh, 120,000 water, I think? No, two, 200... This is 100k, this is 200k, negative 180k. It should, it should say, like, 20,000 water on this input. So it thinks there's 20,000 water to pick up here. I think if I just set this to provide stack threshold, well, that doesn't, that's not going to work for fluid, is it? What if we just say provide threshold a million? 10 million, fine. Then it's not going to come to pick anything up, no matter how much it has here. That happened to me too, not enough crude oil. I think I'll just set up all the outposts within the wall, so it lasts some time. Yeah, you don't want to have to babysit it. Okay, so how have we run out of crude oil? There's a whole lot of crude oil right here. It's completely full. Oh, don't tell me all of our fluid trains were 
stuck doing silly things like that. So now what are you going to do? Crude oil. Fantastic. Well, that was easier to fix than I thought it would be. Um, there was something else, though. I was concerned that maybe... Yeah, we're not getting resources out of our core mining drills. What's happening here? We've got... 10,000, which is not enough to summon a train. I don't know why. Is that actually where the problem is? Power is... The power switch is off. It is nighttime at the moment, but... Let's see. Core mining drills have been doing their thing. Those graphs are looking very spiky. We're not producing enough power. Yeah. Uh, did nuclear stop? It looks like nuclear stopped. Why did nuclear stop again? Because there's no nuclear fuel? Why is there no nuclear fuel? Same thing over here. Nuclear fuel. We have 241. There's no iron here. Uh-oh. Um, that's a problem. That's kind of a big problem. Um, is there, per chance, an iron mine that we could exploit until we get everything completely sorted to go infinite? I don't think there's one over here. Here we go. It's only 2.7 million, though. And we'd have to take a lot of territory. I think there might have been one over this way. Nope. So let me get this straight. Um... Basically, we didn't set this iron plate drop-off high enough priority. And our nuclear power stopped, which means the production rate of our core mining slowed down, which means we're not getting more iron and uranium, for that matter, and so on and so on. Um, yeah. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, set the priority of this one really high. So as soon as this iron plate somewhere, it should come to the station. We start making nuclear fuel again. And we take the nuclear fuel to the... Uh, turbines, uh, to the reactors. 31k scrap. More scrap. Hey, meet the Scorch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Did you pay your power bill last month? Evidently not. Westiex, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So... How long is it going to take before we get another iron plate train? Should I go to the trouble of making this work manually? I think I should. Where are you going? All right, let me just grab a train and we'll send it to this iron plate pickup here. Wait for inactivity. Go to uh, Heidi Hocker. 
wait until empty, and then you can go back home. So if I lined that up correctly, it'll take all of the iron remaining at one of those Omni smelters. What? Oh. It's not doing that. It wasn't sent. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. It wasn't sent here by LTN, therefore it didn't, um, what? No, it wasn't sent there by LTN, so it didn't, um, send the signal on the red wire to set the filters and we have to dynamically set those filters because it's a shared pickup. But now that we've got a train in place, it'll be a bit easier to do it like this. I could just send a signal down this red wire. That might be a little bit easier. I've got way too much stuff in my inventory. There we go, this might be easier actually. And last little bit. Okay, off you go. And I just want to follow this automatic chain of events, make sure it doesn't require any other intervention. On the train schedule, if you shift click on station in map, they are added to the schedule instead of using temporary locations. Ah, let's try that. Shift click. Nice. Okay, so if I... I still think it's... I, I can test it right now. Shift, uh, shift click here. Um, we could tell it... Wait until... Iron plate... Greater than zero. I think... Where are you going? No, come back here, please. Um, I think it's still not going to use the LTN... Uh, yellow constant combinator that tells us what the train is asking for. So it wouldn't have loaded the train if we did that, but more importantly, we do have our uranium. But still, I didn't know that. That's very cool. Thank you, uh, Nagapito. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So that means I no longer have to, like, carefully line up the temporary stops when I do that. Yeah, it's not setting the filters. Alright, good to know. How much... What's our request threshold here? Only five stacks. So there should be a train coming pretty soon, actually. It should have already been here. Um... Where are you going? Oh, you already came? Did I miss it? Did... Were there actually two trains here before I even noticed? Surely we're not making... Fuel cells that quickly. No need to carefully place the temp location. Um, what if... Uh, what if there's ambiguity between the train stop names? Do you still have to do the temp stop? Filters are set internally by LTN. Yep. Alright, here comes another train, or maybe a train. And... I see steam. 
coming out of our nuclear plants. So yes, two of those trains really did sneak by while I wasn't looking. Good to know it's working. It will work as a normal station location, so it will choose the closest active one. Yeah, I figured. So you need, so you may want to give it a temporary stop and then give it a, a station specific stop. And that has our core mining going again. Fantastic. And resources are flowing once more. It's going to take a little while to catch up, but that's not so bad. I would still like to find another iron mine that'll hopefully carry us to better throughput until we're getting some iron from space or another planet. Um, it is a comfort having the infinite supply of resources, but it's still a little bit slow. 14 million? Maybe we should go this way. It's a big wall to have to expand, but other than that, that is very attractive, as opposed to 2.7 million on a small, funny-shaped iron mine. And we still have to take quite a bit of territory to get it. Yeah, 14 million is definitely going to carry us to... Well, honestly, it's probably going to carry us to, um... Like, an obscene amount of... Well, there is a reason that we stopped core mining here, because it gives us di diminishing returns. Um... The amount of iron that we get out of all of this uh, is okay, but 136 per second. And the, one of these does 86, 90. So we're still doing significantly less than two of these. So realistically, we're maybe getting about 60 iron ore per second uh, infinitely. Which is, you know, it's definitely nothing to scoff at. But it's not enough to support all of the things we want to do. Landfill the water part as Ace's path. We just creep over this way. And then we have to build a little fort around here anyway. There's something that I've been wanting to try though. Um, I would like to, well, let's finish building this first, uh, but I would like to build the new wall and see how it goes. Uh, where is, here it is, I'll take that. Infinite supply is supposed to be used only on more end game when you have multiple outposts through different planets, each providing a small amount, but when everything is centralized on main base, yeah, it's obviously getting the diminishing returns from one surface. Um, that's what they're aiming for. But I've had, there's just so little on Nalvis, and I'm just trying to get everything sorted so that we can go and do other things without having to worry. Without having to worry about things like our entire power economy crashing because we didn't get enough iron plate over here, for example. Um, I also tend to build somewhat big, although it's not exactly... Depending on your definition, it's not exactly mega base. Um, but yeah, that looks like... Nope, there's a few more cannons to go. Okay, so we've got all of our cannons in place. Uh, the next thing I would like to do is expand our wall. And I want to see how good the, the new wall design is in a number of ways. 
I think, theoretically, we should be able to get away with uh, leapfrogging the wall. And... Well, that's not as much range as I expected, but... I guess we have to actually build this as close as possible if we're going to do it like that automatically. Or I can put more of my own sweat into clearing out some biters. The thing is, the final version of this wall is going to include artillery, so once we build that, we're going to gain a lot more space each time we hop. I think this time, though, we'll just add some artillery to the existing wall. Um, so I definitely had some... Oh, here it is. I'll just put a few artillery turrets down for now. If I can find it. There we go. And I'll change the logistic requests um, so that this includes artillery. And I think the only artillery pickup I've got is strictly for our... This should be a vanilla stop, actually. Yeah, this should be a vanilla stop. I'll change it. Um, so that's for our little arty train. But we need to include artillery shells, probably in this thing, actually. That's all we're going to have to do. That's a lot of wasted power on deep cores. You probably produce almost the same amount with a fraction of them due to the diminishing returns. Yeah, we're well and truly into diminishing returns already with the deep cores. Um, it's uh, trying to support, what is it, 72 times 2? Uh, 144 pulverizers with full productivity modules. Oh, and they don't even have full-on speed beacons. They've got some efficiencies in them. Um, it, it's going to be like probably double the number of core mining drills, if not more. So we're rel well and truly pushing up against the boundaries of uh, the diminishing returns already. Um, but we've got our artillery. I'll need to add artillery shells to this thing. I'll just do... I don't know. We're only asking for, like, a stack for all these other things. I don't want to overflow this. Currently asking for nine requested chests. This whole thing has... must be 41. Okay. I think we could safely maybe set this to like 10 shells. I should really make something totally different for these uh, variety pickups. And maybe separate them a bit, or something. Uh, anyway, that'll be enough for now. So let's head over to the wall. Also, uh, Vario, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, let me just see the range. It doesn't really show it while I'm trying to place this. Um, how many roboports do I have here? 18. So about one artillery cannon for every two roboports. 
There's no power there. I could do it back this way. Kind of want it to be a bit closer. How about we just do it like this? Oh. Uh, like this then. No, that's not going to be powered most of the time. Okay, fine. We'll do it here. And... Alright. Two. I guess we could put it a bit closer. Two. And how many more do I have? I'll skip this one, I guess. Three to go. We're at the end already. That'll do. Uh, Nyron Wolf, thank you for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should remember to host people. Oh, I've got like a auto host thing, right? Or is that not hosting? Okay, so we should see a train bringing... I was going to say we should see a train bringing um, uh, artillery shells, but they're probably all getting put over here. I don't see this thing requesting any... Oh, no, we've got shells here. That's fine. So LTN should bring them sooner or later. And then once we've cleared some of this out, we'll build the next uh, layer of the wall. Okay, I think next I would like to go to space. Even if I don't really have much of an excuse for taking resources up there. Actually, I should take some space belt and space pipe. Why not? I definitely can't think of 500 stacks of items that I want to take up there, though. Um, we can limit this for the moment, since we're not going to be needing that in space. Oh, that's space bell. What else? Don't need regular pipe in space. If you don't know, it's scaffold to fill the empty slots. That's a good point. I think we do have... Oh, yeah. We do have a rocket full of scaffold. That'll do nicely. I'll get rid of this for the moment. And this. I'll keep that for now. Oh, I wanted to change this to a regular train stop. Because there's actually... Uh no reason. Whoops. No reason for that to be LTN. Why are you saying no path? Okay, that's fine. Should I pick up anything else before I go? Let's have a look in space. He already placed over 150k. Yeah, I could see that pretty easily. 
Um, I need an empty... Oh, here we go. Well, I'll use one of these cargo landing pads I get. Hmm. Um... I need an empty cargo landing pad. I don't really want to use the... Do we have one lying around, like, in the bot network? Apparently not. How about if I get them to move this one? Meteor defense ammo. That's a good point. I don't think I've got any meteor defenses up there. Why don't we pick up some cannons? 12 should be far more than enough. Well, significantly more than enough anyway. Oh, I've got a request for it. Uh, where are you? Let's call this 12. And how much can they hold in them? Obviously we'll want to automate this at some point, but it looks like only four rounds at a time. That's no good. How much does it stack to? 20. Okay. How about... That should be enough for now. By the way, press L to view bot network contents. Yeah, I always forget about that one. They stack at 20, I think. Yep. How many rounds are at the defense turret? Depends on inserter stack size. Oh, okay. So in other words, they're not going to hold very much at all. This is stack size 2, and we've got four of these in here. So presumably they would put in three if it was stack size 1. In any case, it's not that much. Um, I don't really want to bother rearranging the rest of this. Uh, anything else? Probably not. Oh, space belt. And space pipe. Okay, space belt. And I guess we don't have that much more room for space pipe. Um, I think mainly the long ones I didn't have enough of. So I'll grab a few of those. And it was either the threes or fives that there were hardly any more of upstairs. Uh, it's more the threes, I guess. Let's grab a few. And then... Close enough. Alright, let's go. One requester and then just insert a between chain of defense installations. Oh, you can chain them just like regular turrets. Uh, we need a target for this one. It's going to be... Scaffold. Scaffold. Uh, let's go. And I just realized I'm going to be suffocating as soon as I get there. But I can't turn... I can't switch to my thruster suit just yet. How much power do you have available upstairs? Uh, the answer is yes. It takes very little effort to have power up here. Uh, we have... Why can't I click on this anymore? Uh-oh. Um, let me just make some room here. 
we have about 180 megawatts spare at the moment. Hold your breath. Yes, indeed. Okay, so that is our scaffolding. And... Oh yeah, I might want to keep this with me because I remember that one little trick. Oh, another media. Speaking of... Uh, speaking of bringing the cannons up here. Can we place them all here in kind of a neat way? Probably not. We could do nine of them. Let's get some scaffolding. Let's realize that there isn't enough room for that. Okay. So how about we build this around where we want our defenses to be? Wait, I brought 12 of these, didn't I? So that's three by four. Is there a middle to these? There is. So what if we do it like... Oh, but there's no middle to this one. Rip. Alright, let's just do a pair of sixes. One... Two, three, and then we need a little bit of scaffolding on the side. One more. Solar gives like five or ten times more power in space. Yes, indeed. Each one of these uh, flat solar panels just gives us 1.9 megawatt 24-7. It's, uh, it's pretty strong. We need more scaffolding over here. And one more cannon. And don't forget the ammo. Just enough room. Okay. Couple of chests. Was that? Okay. Hold on. Why are we... Why are we constantly getting copper. Everything here should be finished. It shouldn't be consuming any copper, right? That was a little weird. I just want to make sure we're not accidentally sending infinite cannon shells in that direction. Okay. Uh, that is slightly disappointing. Let's just do it back this way. I guess we'll do it like so. Two, three, four, five. And then like so. And there's our ammo. Then I would build some accumulators up there just for safety. I think I had... I do have a few. They have all instantly drained because we're charging uh, 12 media defense cannons at the same time. But these are all about to hit 100%. Well, a lot of them are. I wonder why this one's so much slower. 
I guess because of the order that they were placed in. Huck, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's not as strong on Nalvis. Maybe you overloaded the energy network. The signal transmitters turned off when they don't have enough power. Ah, that might be why. Yeah, if we stopped if we stopped transmitting this, that's a good argument for setting it up so that we're transmitting requests instead of what we have. Because if something happens to our power, like maybe all of the power goes to the umbrella, we don't suddenly want infinite cannon shells. We, we don't suddenly want 80 cannon shells being aimed at our delivery cannon chests that do not need to be sent here. That's a really good point. Or have isolated power cells for the transmitters. Yeah, that's good too. But yeah, it is, uh, it's always a good idea to build for exceptions. Still got our space trees. Fantastic. Okay, so... Um, we want... Uh, one, two, three, four... Don't worry, soon your concern is not having enough in space, not having too much, I'm sure. Um, okay, so mergy wergy. Wait, I think we need more splitters than this. Yeah, we do. So that goes there. Uh, that goes there, actually. Same thing back here. Don't need another one for these two. Whoops. Which looks more natural, this or this? Uh, definitely the first one. Okay. And then we'll have... Uh, probably split it from the top, honestly. We'll have a couple of cannon chests. Let's do it right in the middle. I'll grab the ones that we've already got here. I can't exactly go and take this one until I disable that automated cannon downstairs. Uh, that's not going to be a problem, actually. I should leave that there. Get rid of this. We're not going to need this thing, most likely. Oh, this is empty. Good. Um, I think... Well, I was going to say we'll just have some dedicated uh, delivery cannon chests for these two resources, but I kind of already have it built in over here. No, this is, this stops for the sushi belt. 
We'll probably change those resources. We'll see. But for now, um, we'll definitely set this up with uh, with its own cannon chests. We need some concrete. I don't know how much more is up here. That's something I should have brought. Concrete. We have a bunch of stone brick. And I know we managed to get something for smelting up here. Hey, King Fnob. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know that I have any concrete left. Nope, I don't. What does it actually take to make concrete? Iron stick, sand, water, we don't have those. I could configure a cannon to send it up here. In fact, that is going to be by far the easiest way to do this. Um, we can do concrete, right? Yeah. So let's add that to our requests. And then we need, oh, we can't actually do red circuits. So we've already got this one, this decider combinator in place. Very convenient. We'll just add it like that. If uh, concrete is less than, let's say 200, uh, make it one stack. If concrete is less than a stack, uh, don't send that signal. We need the crafting combinator recipe, recipe delivery cannon capsule concrete. And here it comes. Fantastic. And it should be up here somewhere. There we go. Now I can make some more delivery cannon chests. A big clown, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And mass 420 as well. Two of them don't have ammo. Wait, which two of what don't have ammo? Is it the... It's not these guys. Signal transmitters immediately turn off. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So we'll have a couple of these for coal. Uh, is there a way I can do this with... Yeah, I, well, kind of. I can't line this up to put onto both sides of the belt just directly like that, can I? No, it's going to have to be something like this. And then I would like to have more inserters. That should be able to keep up pretty easily. We need food channel. Okay. <laughs> I had a sushi dinner yesterday. Nice. They do earlier... They were missing inserters? Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to have these uh, delivery cannon chests. Something like this. Flip it around. Um, we do need the belt to go past both of these, unless we're going to have way too many splitters to filter these things out. So I guess we'll just do it something like... Like so. Um, this only does five tiles. 
So we have to do it like a yellow belt if it's going to be symmetrical. Um, I guess it's kind of pointless having... Okay, maybe I won't steal the... Why is my UPS this low? Let's go performance mode. That's a... Okay, that's way better. What the hell? Uh, anyway. What? This would bottleneck to one full belt for each item, which I'm okay with. To put on the sushi belt, but... I would like it to be able to drain two full belts into each resource at the same time. That's not going to happen with the way this is set up. Uh, each of these does 40, which is like one cargo wagon, which is less than a single steel chest. Maybe we could do four of these just so that we can... Well, no, the gigantic cannon system that we're making already is going to send up 80 stacks at a time. I'm not going to double this. So, we'll send up 80 stacks at a time, potentially. I guess we'll just merge them and have it go around like that. So this could be pretty close down here. Actually, that's gonna that's gonna be fine. Yeah. Outside, outside, and then like this. So that should pretty easily saturate those belts. Well, that would saturate it if it was just the if it was two belts, not just the one. It should consume from both equally. Um, not going to have room for substations in the middle of that. Although we don't necessarily need splitters here. It still wouldn't be room for substation if I used an underground belt. So that all goes in there. And we're not going to gamble on all of the resources getting picked up by the inserters. We're going to say read belt contents hold and glass equals zero, for example. And then same thing in all of these locations. And then we just change the symbol. Plastic. Copper. I mean, steel. Copper. Iron. Stone brick. Concrete. Uh... Coal. And we don't have to do one for ice. You could also loop the mist resources. This is true. If I did loop it... Well, no. I was going to say if I did loop it, we could theoretically get more throughput, but 
um, we're only going to be sending one type of resource up at the same time. So not going to do it that way. Um, we will need a some kind of circuit logic to check that these cannons are empty. Um, I was tentatively saying we're going to need two signal transmitters. Or we could just set it up so it only fires when both are empty. I think I like that idea better. So... Uh, each times one output C for chest or cannon or cargo or something. And C has to be equal to zero before we fire. We also want to know if the sushi belt wants anything. So... I might have to move all this... well, I don't have to, but I might want to move all of this down a bit. Let's get you out of the way. That's our sushi belt counter. Um, I don't really need this here at the moment. It looks like I was bringing up the signals of what's on the sushi belt. But again, I would like to design it so that we just send what we're requesting um, down to the uh, surface. So if there's a power outage, nothing weird happens. Missed one between Vulcanite and Coal. Correct. Uh, so this one is a Vulcanite block. And then maybe... Move all of this down a bit closer. Uh, do we need any... I don't think so. No, that should be fine. Don't need any, like... It's going into a lane balancer, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. And a belt balancer. So we receive items from into the delivery cannon chest. It gets put in storage over here. Um, we're not going to fire up iron plate unless there's room for 80 stacks of iron plate. 48 times 4, 192. 192? That's more than I was expecting. Oh, right, because... I sized this for a cargo wagon downstairs as opposed to... Well, not a cargo wagon. I sized it for a full train um, over here. But we're not dealing with trains in this case. So this actually has room for more than double um, a pair of full delivery cannon chests. So 192 minus 80 is 112. So uh, 111,200. Except for coal, if something drops below, let's say 10,000, we can send up more. Whoops, I forgot to unmute. Seems I've worn out my bots. Um, oh, this is what I brought the space capsule with me for. So let's put that back where it belongs. And switch to power armor. There we go. Hmm. 
much better. Okay. Back to thruster suit. And I thought I had another... There we go. We could just set this up so that... Um, if there's anything in the delivery cannon chests, we... Negate any signal that we're going to send down. Um, yeah, I think we'll go... It's unfortunate... Well, okay, are we actually going to put coal on the sushi belt? There's probably something that's going to want coal, right? Maybe? I don't want to, like, go to the trouble of removing this and then finding out that actually we did need coal here. So I guess I'll leave it like that, but it's a little annoying that it doesn't stack to the same size as everything else. Otherwise I could say... Uh, well, no, I know how to do this. Um, each less than 10,000 output one each multiply by uh, 8,000 it was 80 stacks wasn't it yeah 8,000 well we don't actually need a number here we can just deal with the logic down here of we're requesting some amount of iron, therefore send up iron. In fact, we could just not require any circuit logic down here. We could set this to say, well, no, that's not going to work. I can't set it so that, unless I use multiple combinators, I can't set it so that, like, if iron plate is low, then we output um, recipe delivery cannon capsule iron plate. We're going to have to have like one combinator for each of these, no matter what. In which case, I guess it doesn't matter that this is going to be a different stack size. There's no point in doing the like each less than 10k. At some point, we're going to have to convert these. So I guess we just have a row of 10 of these. Um, if iron plate less than 10k, output recipe delivery cannon capsule iron plate. Lenses for blue space science need coal and some biosciences need coal too. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Oh my god, a man in Italy went to get his vaccine shot and he covered... Oh my god. Yeah, I heard a... a less impressive, shall we say, version of that. Um, I think it was... Uh, someone literally just had like a cushion under their uh, under their shirt under the sleeve and they refused to roll up the sleeve recipe delivery cannon capsule copper plate um steel plastic let's just do this first glass Uh, stone brick, concrete, concrete, vulcanite block, coal, ice. Coal is going to be 5,000. And ice, I think, stacks to 100. Let me just double check. Two hundred. Wow. Okay. 
Um, so, 20k, I guess. That's a lot. All right. So, double check these. Recipe delivery cannon. Recipe delivery cannon. Where is it? There it is. And coal. And ice. Wait, what? Recipe water ice. No, that's not what we want. Recipe delivery can encapsulate water ice. Okay. Can we maybe tidy these up a little bit, sort of? Hey, Benny B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you very much for the sub. Two months. Thank you. Much appreciated. It's always very humbling and motivating. And you'll want to put something in the tip jar. Wait, what is this? Oh, we didn't... Um, recipe, delivery, cannon, capsule, glass. I just want to line this up so it's the same as this layout. Um, we'll connect these up like so. Why are you building one combinator per resource? Can't you solve this way simpler with one constant holding all the values? Uh, Kano, at some point we're going to have to con uh, we're going to have to convert like glass to recipe delivery cannon capsule glass. Um, so we're inevitably going to need one combinator per resource at some point. So we can't, in this case do something clever like, uh, you know, each less than 10k output each, or maybe anything if we want to just send one signal at a time, um, because we have to send a different but corresponding signal for e each of these resources. So if we're going to have one uh, different if we're going to have one different um, combinator for each resource, we may as well do it here. That doesn't really look like it's connected. Makes sense when you're using the mod to set the recipes, yes. It does hurt me a little bit that I have to have 10 combinators for this. but Because even with the exceptions to the stack sizes, I could have done this with like one combinator plus one for coal plus one for ice i think but um yeah unfortunately we have to do it this way this time but it's not that bad i guess technically that's what i'll tell myself i'll do a red wire here just to make it a bit more visible how it's different and then down here we connect, uh, can I move? I'll, I'll use the satellite thing. Down here we limit what we output from storage to the sushi belt. Um, should I do it this way or that way? I wonder if just because of the circuit wiring that would look a little bit better. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we need to uh, read belt contents pulse. But green wire is plus one. And we also need to enable disable. However, I think if you do both at the same time, once we get past, like, if we've got a limit of two iron, 
and like three iron passes through here all at once. I can't remember if it counts at the moment it goes into this tile or exits it. So you could end up with like a slightly inaccurate count. Um, we could, it, it, it also might just be a little bit simpler, like, I don't want to say conceptually, but it's sort of a cleaner design if we just read belt contents pulse here, and the rest of these are just enable, disable. Whoops. Let's get our infinite wire. Yeah, I kind of like that better. So we're going to say iron plate less than some amount. Wait, how much iron plate do we have on this belt? 2.7k. That would explain it. Um, yeah, that would explain it. Copper... Steel, plastic, glass, ice, and coal, vulcanite, block, concrete. Now that I look at it, Eh, it's fine. Sure, we could probably have just had more delivery cannon chests, but who cares? Um, what are we doing? Stone brick. Steel. I mean, concrete. I think those are all correct now. Fantastic. And now we've got our targets for the system that we're building downstairs. Um, let's say, let's call this one Nervous Orbit Sushi Cannons. Or Cannon Chests. Just call it Cannons. Why can't I... Okay. Really? Okay, I have to type this whole thing again. Orbit Sushi Cannon. That'll do. There's an equipment thingy you can put on your suit that disables your character being moved by belt. I know, but it takes up a one by one slot and it makes me sad that it does. Basically. It makes me more sad than occasionally bumping up against belts. Space belts move fast, and space scaffold only lets you move at 75%. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit tough if you don't have uh, exoskeleton, which, I mean, I do, but when I have a jetpack, I can't really justify the space for the exoskeleton. And here we are stuck. Fantastic. Okay, so I think we've got everything in place actually for the... Uh, to receive the cannon shells. Um, I would like to put this cargo landing pad back. Oh wait, we're not... We might do it this way. I'll just leave that there for now. Yeah, no, we probably are going to have things that we need to send in uh, cargo rockets. Because you can't send everything in delivery cannons. That looks really... I'm not used to seeing that here. It looks really big and scary and weird and monstrous. Especially the art style of these uh, cannons. Okay. Is there anything else I want to do while I'm in orbit this time? I could pick up some more... I could 
not pick up some more solar uh, solar panels. Actually, apparently we've got no oh regular solar panels. Well, that'll help. We've also... Wow, that's a lot of multispectral mirrors. Was there anything on the ground that I wanted these for? I think I can make... Um, it has to be made in space manufacturing. Multi... Am I... Am I mistyping that? Where is it? M-U-L-T-I, spectral, it's all one word, M-U-L, why is this not spec, how, is multispectral just not coming up in this search, maybe it's case sensitive, hmm, Capital M. Nope. It's a bit odd. Huh. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I can't really think of anything that I want to take back downstairs right now. Unless we had a lot more flat solar panels, which I could always put them in here, multi-spectrals. I don't know why I was accumulating these, I can't remember what for. Well, may as well drop off my solar panels. That is pretty quick though. There's only less than a hundred to go. Maybe I should wait until that's done and we'll take some more flat solar panels downstairs. I know I've got a bunch of them in storage somewhere um, that I haven't bothered to replace this stuff with. It's something like three and three quarters more power dense than the regular solar panels. So I should probably get around to that. Especially because we're kind of bumping up against the limits, I think, of how much nuclear our infinite supply can support. And we're running out of uranium over here. There's a whole lot of uranium up here. So it's not like that's going to be a big problem. Well, it's it's kind of going to be a problem until it's solved, though. All the more reason I would like to see these artillery shells firing. Hills zero. Why has LTN not sent any ammo? Wait, did I forget the minor detail of telling LTN to ask for artillery shells at the... at this wall in particular? I th think I did. That's a little bit embarrassing, not gonna lie. Didn't set a request. Yep. Big brain. I saw the yellow light earlier and I thought, aha, uh -huh, LTN is sending something here. It's already working. Nope. Okay. Anything else? I could place nope. a bunch of space... <laughs> nope. <laughs> I could place a bunch of space platform um, and make room for another rocket worth of it. Oh, that's going to take a minute. I could get the bots to place it. That's going to take a while, but who cares? 
They're not doing anything else. Alright, that seems like a good idea, actually. Let's place... Well, that is actually a lot of build area because of the um, radar construction pylon. Let's just get them to place... Can we put it on here? We can. I don't want to waste... I don't want to do that. Anyway. We can always... Oh, that's not in the logistic network. I am a fool, actually. Um, but if I place 47,000 of this, and then mark that building for deconstruction, um, the bots will get it done eventually. I don't... oh. I don't particularly want to bring it all the way out up here, but... I guess if I don't place all of it, uh, they're just not going to completely deconstruct that thing, which is fine. Is that going to place... I can't tell. Alright, well, this is fine for now, in any case. Deconstruct. Wait, give me my things back first. Signals. That's the wrong one. And that's actually a lot of cargo rocket sections that need moving as well. Need 20 more inventory slots. Uh, actually, I sort of don't because logistic trash. And let's bring it all over here, shall we? Is that all of them? Yep. Why do I have... Eh, that makes sense, I guess. There's no room on the belt. Wait. Oh, that's one... How do we have exactly one belt of... Iron plate over here. That's kind of weird. Now it's breaking up. So then this will chuck those items on the sushi belt. It'll come back around here. Go to building our cargo rocket. And when there's some excess, it'll get uh, packed up into the cargo rocket. Also, space pipe. I'm glad I didn't forget to place this. Although I didn't bring that much of it. I might just drop a chest here for this other space pipe. Space belt. Good. What's going on with science? Oh, it's happening. That's what. Artillery shell shooting speed is almost done. Fantastic. 98%. I can't really tell how long it's going to take. Uh, 2,000 is... 20 is 1%, so it could be... Whoops. It could be 40 of these before this thing is finished. 
If we see it tick over to 99, we know it's 20 to go. Anything else? Oh yeah. Go go construction bots. I didn't mean to drop that many, but okay. That's fine too. Why are they just putting it in storage instead of trying to build something? They're going to end up just hovering. Oh, no. This is going to end up full and then they're just going to end up hovering. Why wouldn't they build this first? What if we cancel this? Now they start building. That means this whole thing is going to take micromanaging like many, many times if I want it to finish this way. Ah, uh, rip. Okay, I think the next thing we'll do is head back down to the planet, finish our uh, cannon build. And then we'll have automated supply of all of these resources, although I don't think I've put ice into the train network just yet. Uh, automated supply of all of these resources to orbit. And that will be neat. Just build a provider chest and an inserter next to the pad. Yeah, I guess so. I'm a little disappointed in having to do this, but sure. Um, 481 stacks, we would need 10 chests. I'll just leave it as it is for now. Wait, no, I want to make sure that this is empty for next time. Let's do it like this. Uh, 9 chests times 48 is less than 480 stacks, but the bots are going to be placing this stuff the whole time. So this shouldn't take too long to empty. Okay, uh, why don't we give it a little save right about there? And we'll see who is streaming Factorio today. Dropped in on Mucky yesterday. Oh, it's Dune. Probably drop in on Dune. Or King Fnub, maybe? 11k megabase or bust. FYI, you can find multi spectral mirror in FNEI by typing mirror. Let me try that before we go. There it is. Okay, fair enough. Tune's pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Thanks for the stream. No worries. Um, we've raided Dune a few times, though. I feel like let's go for King Fnob today. All right. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions or requests, by all means, let me know. And uh, I'll see you next time, same time tomorrow. Another short stream, unfortunately, but after that we'll have a few long ones. Take care, guys. Thanks for stopping by. And let's go.